Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and today we're doing another pet collecting video, and our filter is ones that you get from world events. So you're gonna have seen a few of these before, um, but I'll try and power through it quickly. It should be a relatively short video, so let's get started. Uh, first one is the Clockwork Rocket Bot, and this one you get in Winter's Veil from uh, the Stolen Present. Now that one is the quest where you have to go and kill the big guy, and then there's a whole bunch of presents in and around the cave. And this one has a chance to drop, and uh, Lumpy, which is coming up later, also has a chance to drop. Uh, Creepy Crate is a uh, Creepy Crate is a Hallow's End one, um, and it is a quest that you do in either Stormwind or Overmar. Uh, Curious Oracle Hatchling and Curious Wolvar Hatchling are ones that you get for doing the Children's Week quests in Dalaran. You have to pick one or the other to do the uh, quests with, and then you get him as a reward. So do one one year, one the next year, or just buy him off the auction house. Uh, Egbert, you get from the Shatrath Children's Week quests. Um, you'll get a choice of, I think, four or five different ones, and he's one of the ones that you get. Father Winter's Helper, you get from the presents underneath the tree in either Iron Forge or Ogremar. Uh, Feline Familiar, you get uh, from buy you buy it from the uh, Hallow's End vendor in either Stormwind or Undercity, just outside of Stormwind or just outside of Undercity, and it is 150 tricky treats. I should note that this one does not come as rare; it comes as uncommon. But I upgraded it for the Battlestone. Uh, Jubling you get from Dark Moon Prayer. This one's a little tricky. You need to find at least 10 um, Dark Iron Ale mugs. If you have the Brewfest remote, you can use it, and the Dire Brew. Brewfest remote. Um, you can use it and the guy sells them, but you need to get at least 10. I'd recommend getting about 15. And then you need to find uh, Morja in dar on Dark Moon Island. And then in the forest behind her, look for this guy. Look for a guy who looks like this. His name is Jub Jub. And you need to click on him and lure him towards her by using the Dark Iron Ale and kind of smashing it on the ground and slowly pulling him there. Once you get him to her, she'll kind of do this little thing where she's excited to find him. She'll pop up a quest and you need to hand in one more Dark Iron Ale mug. To complete the quest, you'll get an egg and you have to wait a week for it to hatch and then you get him. Uh, Mr. Wiggles is another Children's Week one, this one from the Stormwind or Ogremar quest. Uh, again, this one does not come as rare, it comes as uncommon. I upgraded it with the Battlestone. Uh, Peanut is another Children's Week one you get from Shatrath. Petal Feet costs 40 love tokens, which you and you get him during Love is in the Air, which is either in Stormwind or Undercity. Uh, the pint-sized pink Pachyderm is a Brewfest one, so Iron Forger Ogremar, just outside of them, and he costs 100 Brewfest prize tokens. Plump Turkey you get from doing the Pilgrims, uh, the Pilgrims Week meta, uh, so around Thanksgiving. Um, you need to do all the achievements and getting the achievement, the big meta, gives you the title and gives you the pet. Uh, Scooter the Snail is another Children's Week one you get from Stormwinter Ogremar. Sinister Squash, and this one actually is a rare, uh, and you can get him a couple ways. You can get him from the Headless Horseman uh, himself, he can drop in the loot bag. Um, you can get him from candy buckets when you're going around to all the different places, or you can spend 150 tricky treats and get him. Speedy is another Children's Week one from Stormwind and Ogremar. Uh, Spirit of Summer, you need, uh, you get during mid Midsummer, and he costs 350 Burning Blossoms. Uh, Spring Rabbit, you can get two different ways. You can get him in the brightly colored eggs that you collect, or you can spend 100, 100 Noble Garden chocolates to get him. Now, um, the thing about uh, doing Noble Garden is. Goldshire is usually very, very crazy, and then the the one little city, the one little town just outside of Ogremar is usually pretty crazy. Sorry, I don't know the name of it. So go to the small towns that are just outside of some of the other cities. The Burning Crusade ones are ideal. You don't need to fly anyway, they're all pretty close together. So I usually go to Azur Watch, which is just outside of Exodar. You could also do, um, uh, whatever the one is, uh, Dolinar, I think, that's just outside of, uh... Darnassus, if you're Alliance, and then Horde, uh, try the little town that's just outside of Silvermoon, or possibly Brill, which is just outside of Undercity. Those ones will usually be pretty dead. The ones outside of Ogremar and Stormwind, or, so Stormwind would be the uh, Gold Shire again, I'm sorry, I don't remember what the Horde one is. Those ones are usually pretty crazy. Uh, Tiny Snowman you get from the presence underneath the tree, either in Ironforge or Ogremar. 
Toxic Wasteling is a Love is in the Air pet, which is the Valentine's Day. And you get him from the dungeon. He'll, he has a chance to drop off the... Uh, dr off the bucket that comes off of the boss in the special dungeon. Uh, Whiskers the Rat is a Children's Week one you get from the Stormwind Orgrimmar ones. Uh, Willy is from the Shitraff Children's Week quests. Uh, Winter Reindeer you get from the Presence Under the Tree, as you do Winter's Little Helper. And the Wolpertinger is a quest during Brewfest, so whether you're doing it just outside of Ironforge or just outside of Orgrimmar, uh, you'll get it. Now, Frigid Frostling. Frigid Frostling you get from the Midsummer Dungeon. You need to fight um, the Frostlord Ahoon, and then he'll drop the sack, and he has a chance to be in there. Legs is a Shatrath Children's Week pet. Lumpy you get from doing, um, I talked about earlier, the uh, Clockwork Rocket Bot. You uh, go to that little area, you kill the big guy, and then in the cave where he is, um, there's a bunch of presents, and he has a chance to be in there. And then Lunar Lantern is the Alliance um, pet that you can buy with 50 coins of Ancestry from the Lunar Festival. Um, the Horde is the Festival Lantern, and it's not showing up on here because I guess I'm not on my Horde character. Um, but yeah, I, th I think it looks relatively similar. So that's all of these ones. I hope you found that helpful. Like and, just like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.